Welcome back to Rob Four Films. It's been a while since I've done this. It's been so long, it feels kind of like it's the first time I've ever done it before. A little nervous. Anyway, I've been working on the studio, which you can sort of, sort of, I don't know, see part of it here. I'm not even close to done. Some of that footage you saw a minute ago was me getting some cool shots of some things that are really old and creepy. And since my dad wouldn't let me film him, I went with that. He doesn't watch these anyway, so it's not like it's going to hurt his feelings that he heard me say that. Anyway, so a lot of crazy things have been happening. I am currently without electricity still. Everything you see here is run off of battery. Um, but... It's working thus far. I just have to charge the batteries a lot. A, a, a lot, a lot, actually. So once I get electricity, I will be able to run this thing full time and be having a lot of these coming out very soon. In the meantime, I've got a little something to show you. I'm excited about this. Uh, I've been talking about one of my segments that's going to be coming up, and it's called Story Time with Rob for Films. And it's kind of about some old stories of me growing up, my children when I was a kid, just a lot of craziness like that. So where we're going to film that is right here behind me. That's why I chose this side to, to put it on. So right over there. It, it doesn't zoom in a lot. Right there. Right there. Right back there. Yeah. Uh, that is the fireplace uh, that I don't currently have going yet because it's really way too warm for a fireplace. But just for looks, I put like a little electric one back there, which again, I have no electricity, so it'd be impossible to run that, and hence I am not. But soon, that will be where we do the story time with Rob for Films. I'm really tempted to jump in and just do like a little mini segment right now. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. This little story is a gem for sure. The year was 2004. The date, October 31st. It was Halloween. We forgot to get our daughter a Halloween costume. She was five. She was redheaded. And she was angry. In our defense, there's a lot of things going on at this time. I was about to graduate college in December. I was doing all that final preparation paperwork and taking a 21 hour semester so I could get out of there. Two, we just moved to Sanger and so we were still moving things in. It was a mess, like the, you know, even the, the beds were all broken down. We didn't have any really a place to sleep. It was, you know, we were trying to get things done. C, we just forgot. We kept thinking the other one was gonna do it, the other one was gonna do it, and we, you know, it was kind of one of those back and forth um, things that just had never happened, and so it's Halloween day, my daughter's like, hey, where's my Halloween costume? She wanted to be something, and I've forgotten now, but it was very specific. Anyway, so we take off to run to the store, and I don't know if you've ever been last minute Halloween costume shopping, it's, it's not pleasant. You kind of get what they have left. So you just invent something else. So we'd gone to one, two, three, probably four Walmarts and Targets and whatnot, but it, we finally landed in the Louisville Target, which was at the time one of the few super Targets around. Uh, it had more costumes and a, probably two huge aisles of costumes. Uh, and we get there and still it's basically like a sword and a witch hat, and we're gonna make her like a pirate witch. I, you know, we're just inventing things at this point. But the story is, off in the distance, this little bitty guy, he's just tiny, little, probably four years old, five years old, around her daughter's age, but smaller. She was kind of, she had a huge head. The little guy is yelling at me. He's looking at me. He's looking up at me. And I'm 6'6", six, six, probably nearly 500 pounds at this point. I'm down to about 300 now. So I was a massive guy. I was a little scary. Kids didn't usually walk around yelling at me. They looked at me in terror like I was gonna eat them. Get in my belly! Back to the story. He keeps yelling at me. And 
he's with some woman. I don't know who she is. Possibly a grandmother. Possibly a very much older aunt. Could be a mother if she had a late in life baby. She could be a 20 year old on meth. I honestly do not know, but she looked very old and kind of, you know, like old like. The little kid keeps walking closer and closer and closer. And I finally, after halfway up the aisle, I make out what he's saying. He's saying, where's the princess? Where's the princess? And I don't know what he's talking about. My wife, and she's like, do you know this kid? I'm like, I don't have a clue who this kid is. I've never seen him before in my life. I don't know. Uh, you know, she probably thought it was an illegitimate child of mine or something. I have no idea, but it wasn't. I still don't know the kid's name to this day. So he gets close enough, and I'm trying to figure out what he's talking about. And about that time, his mother, grandmother, aunt... So she looks at me and says, I'm sorry. He thinks you're Shrek. My wife starts laughing. I mean, hysterically cackling next to the Halloween costumes. And people are looking at her. And she thinks this is the funniest thing she's ever heard. And I'm kind of hurt a little bit. And I look at the little boy and I thought, man, this, you know, what, what is wrong with you? I, clearly there's a, a, a main issue here. The shop is cool in the shed. Even if we did look alike. I was like, I'm not green. Little guy looks up at me and is like, he only does that for the movies, duh. Well, clearly I've been outwitted. I, I never thought of that. He possibly puts that on for the movies. Hmm. Pretty quick, fella. Pretty quick. But you got the wrong guy. Okay? I don't even like onions. They're gross. Well, it depends on how you prepare them, but I won't eat them raw. So as my wife is cackling on the ground, I look at her and I said, what are you laughing for? He didn't ask where Donkey was, did he? He's right there. That shut her up real quick. So this has been the very first sort of wasn't really planning on doing this story time with Rob for Films. Hopefully they are more in depth from now on, but this was a story I told my class the other day. Thought it might be fun to throw it out there. Again, I was just gonna show a little footage of the studio that's not quite finished yet and still needs electricity, but still had a good time telling these stories. Hopefully you enjoy them. I always do because clearly I tell them for me. So until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, or if not, at least share with somebody to make fun of me or share the story, however you wanna do it. Um, till next time, Rob for Films. See ya, YouTube.